Good Notes is an awesome note-taking app with decent PDF reading capabilities. Flexo, on the other hand, is a PDF reader with some basic note-taking capabilities. If your work involves more PDF reading and annotating than handwritten notes, you might benefit from using a PDF reader like Flexo. To get a full picture of what's possible in Flexo, we have done a complete review of the application on our website. We will have a link to it in the description down below. Hey guys, it's Rob Sipek with Paperless X, a channel that is all about digital productivity. If you're new to our channel, hello. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know each time we release a new video. And if you're already subscribed, fantastic human, welcome back. Here are seven reasons Flexil is a better PDF reader than GoodNotes. Many users prefer a two-page view when going through documents. Flexil has that option and it even has a four-page view, which is handy for taking notes on lecture slides if they have space to write on, of course. GoodNotes only shows one page at a time. To give you more space to work on, you can remove the status bar from the app. Then you can go into full mode, which removes the tabs and most of the application's toolbar, leaving you with just the essential tools you need for PDF reading. In this mode, you can still access your other documents that you have open in the application, and you can go back to the home page and even access the thumbnails of your document. Though it is not completely full screen mode, your screen is decluttered enough to help you concentrate on what you're reading. In GoodNotes, you can only enter full screen mode momentarily when you deactivate the inking tools of your Apple Pencil. This is when you need to tap on hyperlinks in the application. You can't annotate your PDF in this mode, and that is a bit limiting. When using GoodNotes, to access the pages in your PDF, you have to open a pop-up window. This contains your page thumbnails, bookmarks, and outlines. The setup in Flexil is much better though. You can access all of that in the same window with your PDF. It makes bookmarks easier to access. Flexil also shows you your annotations and links, which makes it easier to find your annotations a bit later. If you want the GoodNotes approach though, you can still get that in Flexil. Though in this window, you can't access your outlines, which is actually not a problem at all because you can access that without entering this mode. Flexil has a lot of reading gestures, which you do not get in GoodNotes, and that will help you work faster in the application. Circling your text brings up a pop-up menu that lets you underline, highlight, copy, define, bookmark, or search the terms in your PDF. Brackets select long paragraphs. You can capture images much easily in the application than you can in GoodNotes. And you can extract text out of PDFs in Flexil. All these gestures ensure that you don't need to rely on the toolbar to read your PDFs. In GoodNotes, long pressing some text will give you options to highlight, strike out, define, speak, or copy the text. Images are not very easy to capture in the application. You have to use the lasso tool, take a screenshot, and then share that. The gestures in Flexil generally give a more pleasant PDF reading experience that you wouldn't get in GoodNotes. Linking your notes to their source helps when you have to reference something. Flexil keeps a link that takes you back to the source of your notes with a single tap. The application has an option to show or hide this option. What's more important, however, is how easily you can find what you're looking for. This connection between notes and PDFs is amazing and it is the main reason you'd choose to use Flexil over GoodNotes. It is Flexil's trump card. GoodNotes doesn't link your notes to PDFs at all. Both applications don't support comments, but this linking feature is an acceptable workaround in Flexil. When you extract text from your PDFs, it remains editable in Flexil. In GoodNotes, all your extractions are screenshots which means they're images you can edit. In Flexil, you can edit your extractions and the application keeps the link to the source, which is awesome. Definitely something you can't do in GoodNotes.
The Favors toolbar in GoodNotes is limited to three colors and three pen sizes. In Flexo, you can save as many favorite pen tools as you want. You can even save some pen tools for underlining your PDFs. You will probably not need all these pens, but the limitations in GoodNotes has always been a little unpleasant. Three pen sizes with a millimeter gauge is too few and it heavily relies on having to remember the thicknesses you replace each time you replace one. In Flexo, you won't be replacing any of the pens on this toolbar because you can keep adding as many as you need. Which of these reasons will make you consider using Flexil for PDF reading? Let us know in the comment section down below. For a complete review of Flexil, don't forget to check out our website so you understand the strengths and limitations of the application. We hope you guys liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let us know what other videos you'd like us to cover on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in the next video.